the right time, God's timing. The beginning scriptures come from Isaiah chapter 49, verse 8. This is what the Lord says. At just the right time, I will respond to you. And in Psalm chapter 27, verse 11 through 14, Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as has breathed out violence. Uh, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. The Jewish people waited a long time for their Messiah, but when the right time came, God sent his son born of a woman, Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. The world, too, waited for a long time for a redeemer, but at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly, Romans chapter 5, verse 6. Sometimes our prayers aren't answered in our timing, but we must continue to focus on God. He will deliver us in his timing and in his way. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22 says, At the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 says, So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessings if we don't give up. Wait, waiting on the Lord isn't easy. I know it never was for me. But think of Abraham waiting for a son, Joseph waiting for freedom, Paul waiting in prison, and Jesus waiting waiting for his hour to come. Trust the Lord to respond to your need at just the right time. And in a conclusion to this, timing is everything. When we talk about waiting, we're implying waiting for the right time. Sometimes God waits to answer your prayers because now is not the right time. And overall, God works on his own time and his timing is perfect. So don't try to rush him. Don't push him. God is perfect. We are not. And God's timing is perfect.